Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert for you. And spoiler alert, everything is so, so good. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five days a week and Monday is always meal prep. You will find all of today's recipes on my website. I'll link that down in the description box along with nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So we have not one, not two, but three amazing recipes to make, so let's jump in. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting for me. For breakfast this week, I am making homemade chewy granola bars. I shared with you guys in my grocery haul that my mother-in-law makes these, and these are the best granola bars I've ever had. They are from Joanna Gaines and Magnolia Home. And let me just tell you, winner, winner. These are so, so good. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some unsweetened coconut flakes, sliced almonds, rolled oats, Lily's chocolate chips. I just have the traditional dark chocolate Lily's stevia sweetened chips, dried cherries. Make sure you get the ones with no oil added sugar. I count these as zero points. I do not count points for dried fruit if there's no added sugar. Light butter, salt, vanilla bean. Make sure you don't skip the fresh vanilla bean and honey. You're also going to need brown sugar substitute. I forgot to share that with you guys in the beginning. This is the Lakanto Golden. You guys know I love Lakanto monk fruit. This is the best brown sugar alternative. It tastes the closest to regular brown sugar. So you're also going to need some brown sugar substitute. I'll link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off. So to get started on our granola bars, I have a sheet pan that I've lined with some parchment paper. I have two cups of rolled oats. Go ahead and spread those out on the baking sheet. One cup of sliced almonds. Put those right on top of the rolled oats. Mix that all together and spread it evenly into a single layer on the bottom. This is going into a 325 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until the almonds are toasted and the rolled oats are toasted. That's really going to help bring out the flavor. Go ahead and take your oats and almonds out of the oven, add the coconut flakes, and we're going to put this back in for about another five minutes until everything gets nice and toasted. Once you take everything out of the oven, we're going to add it to a large bowl. And we're stirring in one cup of the dried cherries and then go ahead and set that aside. Into a medium saucepan, we're going to add one third cup of our Lakanto brown sugar, three tablespoons of light butter, one quarter cup honey, and a pinch of salt. We're going to allow everything to melt down. We want the butter melted, the sugar dissolved. We are going to stir frequently. It'll take about five minutes for everything to melt. Once the butter, sugar, everything is melted, we're going to add it to the oats, coconut, almond, and cherry mixture, and then give that a quick stir. We want to make sure everything gets coated with the wet mixture. Then we're going to take our vanilla bean and we're going to scrape out all the good stuff and add it to the mixture. Then we're going to add one half of our Lily's chocolate chips and give that one final stir. To a nine by 13 baking dish, go ahead and add some parchment paper. Make sure it does hang over the edge a little bit so it's easy to get the bars out. We are going to add the granola bar mixture into the baking dish. And then go ahead and spread that out evenly into the bottom. And then lastly, we're sprinkling the other half of the chocolate chips right on top. And then we're just going to press those into place so that they'll firmly set into the bars. 
These delicious bars are going into the refrigerator for about two hours so that they can firmly set. Three hours later. I just pulled my granola bars out of the refrigerator. They look so incredibly delicious. I'm telling you that these are the best granola bars I've ever had. I told my mother-in-law every time I come over, I need these bars. They're that delicious. So I wanted to share the recipe with you. So I'll go ahead and put serving size points, calories, all of the information here on the screen for you. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting. For my lunches this week, I'm making a roasted sweet potato barbecue chicken bowl. I shared in my grocery haul that I'm really into bowls these days. I like that there's protein, vegetables, uh, usually some type of a starch, and it's just a really well-rounded lunch, and it makes a great meal prep. So let me show you what's in this week's barbecue chicken roasted sweet potato bowls. First, you're going to need some oil of your choice. I have avocado oil, salt, pepper, no sugar added barbecue sauce, garlic powder. The recipe also calls for chipotle powder. I'm eliminating that because I don't like spicy food, but that is an option if you wanted to amp up the spice a little bit. I have just a bag of chopped broccoli, a yellow onion. You'll need two medium sweet potatoes, and since mine are small, I have four really small sweet potatoes, and about a pound or so of chicken breast. Listen close, there's just something about your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this I, I, Go ahead and drizzle about a teaspoon of oil over the potatoes and the onions We're going to add salt, pepper, and garlic powder And then go ahead and use your hands and just mix all of that together. Make sure all the onions and sweet potatoes get coated in that oil and all those seasonings. We're putting our sweet potatoes and onions in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. I just pulled out the potatoes and the onions, so we're going to just kind of slide those over to one half of the sheet pan. We're going to lay out our chicken kind of in the middle. I have chicken tenderloins, so I'm just leaving mine whole. You can chop it up if you would like. And then I'm going to put my broccoli right next to the chicken. I have one quarter cup of my sugar-free barbecue sauce, and I'm just going to brush that right on top of the chicken. I'm going to add some salt to the broccoli as well as the chicken. I am going to spray my broccoli with just a little nonstick cooking spray. I just want it to get crispy and the salt to stick. So we're going back into our 400 degree oven for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Look at how delicious this looks. We have our roasted broccoli, barbecue chicken, sweet potatoes, and onions. I am going to use my little meal prep bowls. I bought these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. This makes three lunch meal preps. So I'm going to divide the broccoli, the chicken, and the sweet potato onion mixture by three. We'll pop it into our meal prep bowls and that's going to be lunch. It's super simple, packed full of protein, veggies, healthy carbs. What you want to do now was to be afraid of when we're young, stupid and in love. When you talk, listen close, there's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. When you go to eat your barbecue chicken sweet potato bowl, you're going to take the other quarter cup of barbecue sauce and you're just going to drizzle a little bit over the top of the chicken and that's just going to finish it off and add that last little bit of barbecue. And here is the completed lunch. This looks so good, you guys. What a filling, satisfying, well-rounded lunch. I will go ahead and put points calories here on the screen for you. Remember, your points will vary depending on your zero point foods, but this is super low point, super hearty, and a huge, huge serving. It's 1 a.m. and I 
ain't tired, I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. For dessert this week, I'm making ooey gooey fudgy chewy brownies and I cannot wait. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, Lily's chocolate chips, granulated sweetener of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto. Don't forget, I will link Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you. You'll also need some eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, salt, and light butter. This is the sweetener that I use. I wanted to show you guys the packaging because this isn't the granulated in the red bag. This is actually the sugar-free monk fruit baking sweetener. This is the one I really like to use in any type of baking. So I wanted to show you the package so when you're on the Lakanto website, you order the right one. In a microwave safe bowl, go ahead and add about three tablespoons of light butter and two ounces of chocolate chips. We're going to pop this in the microwave and melt this down, make sure you stir regularly so that it doesn't seize. We have a perfect chocolate mixture. Everything is nice and melted, so we're going to add in two eggs. And then with our handheld mixer, we're going to beat until fluffy. We're going to add in some vanilla extract and then whisk it some more. Now we're going to add in our dry ingredients. So starting with just a little bit of salt, half of a teaspoon of baking powder. This is one teaspoon, so half. Quarter cup cocoa powder, half of a cup flour, and three quarters of a cup of our baking sweetener and then go ahead and stir that together until mixed. Look at how yummy this looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So into an eight by eight baking dish, we're going to add the brownie mixture. I did spray my baking dish first with some nonstick cooking spray. Spread it out nice and even into the bottom of your baking dish. Tap it on your counter just to make sure there's no air bubbles and then it's going into a 350 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes. I just pulled out the brownies. These smell so good, like fudge. I mean, they smell amazing. We are going, I am going to let these cool for a little bit. We'll cut them into serving sizes and I'll be back to share points and calories. So I went ahead and cut the brownies into eight servings. I just have to show you, look at that. It is so fluffy and moist. I mean, these are like a cake-like fudgy brownie. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you, but I know I'm not complaining about having brownies all week. I also prepped some fresh fruit for the week. Down in the bottom is some blueberries and raspberries, grapes, strawberries, blackberries. This is another thing I really like to do because I know for me and especially for Troy, we'll eat it if it's prepped and ready to go. And these colors just make me so happy. When you talk, listen close. There's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not gonna waste this. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget you can find all three recipes on my website. It'll be linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Definitely come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.